Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, you are way too zoomed. Hold on. There we go. One second. That's better. Okay, I was wondering why I was looking at my own chin. I had a gilly moment. Sorry. <laughs> Don't hit me, Jonathan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna sit next to you at dinner next time. <laughs> Anyways, it is officially time to leave Montreal. It took us, I know, it took us like an hour to get to the airport though because apparently at two o'clock, at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, it's busy in the streets here. Am I chugging all of this? No, I was gonna drink some. Okay can't take anything liquid through security. I learned that the hard way in France. I had to throw away uh, like $40 worth of water I was bringing back to my dad. Anyways, it is time to head back to the States. I'm not, I never like leaving. I don't care where I am. I always want to stay just so I can go somewhere else when I'm done. But we need to get breakfast because all I've had to eat today is a half a bottle of water, water and a granola bar. So we're gonna go find breakfast and then I think I've got some eggs to hatch before we leave and we'll see you guys in a few. All right, and breakfast has been acquired. We got bacon, egg, and cheese bagels because we haven't had a Montreal bagel yet and everyone said we needed to. But I've got these 5Ks going off and I had some pretty decent hatches this morning out of 2K, so let's see what we can get out of 5K. Ponyta, not what you wanna see, not what you wanna see. Glam Meow. I already hatched a hundo Glam Meow, but you know what? I'll always take a hundo. That is not it. Azrael. I will always take a shiny Azrael, but I don't need any more hundos of that. Shuppet. I would have taken another Shuppet since I traded one away last night. Oh, come on. Give me the Sand Shrew. Alright, we got one more. Can we get some fire, please? Oh, okay. I'll say that's fire. Little fungus action. Little 93% fungus action. Okay, I will take it, I will take it. And yeah, that's it. So, I've gotta go collect more eggs. My Go Plus turned off at some point, I'm not sure when, so I'm gonna turn it back on, let it get some eggs. I gotta run over to Starbucks and get some breakfast, and uh, we'll be back. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is officially the day after we returned from Canada. Obviously, we made it home safe. It was a long travel day, and I was going to try and record last night, but me and my parents just wanted to go out, get dinner, and just relax after the long week, but I still wanted to get a video out today. And at first, I didn't think I was going to have anything to cover. And then I woke up this morning to this. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my screen here. Celebrate the spirit of travel during the first ever World Tourism Day event. Now this is going to be a very big one, but there are some specifics to it that I wish I would have read first before I got really excited. Anyways, we're going to hop into it. Happy World Tourism Day in partnership with the United Nations and the World Tourism Organization. We're celebrating the first ever World Tourism Day event in Pokemon Go. For this upcoming week, we'll be celebrating exploration with a special end game event. This one kind of goes really ham on 5k egg hatches. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to worry about the egg hatches because the specific regionals we have here, the only one that we can get um, shiny is Solrock and Saviper. But I can get those in the wild, so I'm not sure if I want to waste 5k egg hatches with the egg pool being so huge now. But anyways, in their respective regions, you will be able to hatch from 5k eggs, Farfetch'd, Kangaskhan, Tauros, Heracross, Corsola, Volbeat, Illumise, Torkoal, Zangoose, Saviper, Lunatone, Solrock, Tropius, Relicanth, Pachirisu, Chatot, Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Pan Poor, Heatmore, and Durant. But the biggest one, the biggest one everybody is so happy about is Mime Jr. is finally being introduced to Pokemon Go with the shiny variant right off the rip. Now, there are going to be a lot of mixed feelings about this, but it's only available in its respective region. The only way you're going to get Mr. Mime is if you're in the Europe part, the Europe region of the world. 
And I'm okay with it because I want to go back to fair up uh, fair. I want to go back to Paris. I want to go back to France. I want to go to Italy. I want to explore as much of Europe as humanly possible. So, getting shiny Zangus and shiny Mr. Mime or Mime Jr. and even Mr. Mime in the wild, you know, I think I have the ability to do it if I stay there long enough. And even not if not. I'll go back and forth. The point of the game is to travel. The point of this event is world tourism. Get out there and go. It's called Pokemon Go, not Pokemon Stay. That's how it should be. So, it starts Thursday, September 26th at 1 p.m. and goes until October 1st at 1 p.m. So it's a week-long event. Trading is only going to cost you a quarter of the dust. So if you needed those regionals that you don't have yet, uh, shiny legendary shinies you don't have, you're talking from basic friendship level 250k dust to do a brand new legendary or a shiny or shiny legendary, anything like that. So honestly, you know, with Regional Egg Event 2.0, I really think, in my opinion, they got this one right because I have always hated the idea of regionals hatching all around the world. They're regionals for a reason. Keep them there. So they're doing that with this one. Threw in some shiny possibilities. Now you've got Zangoose and Saviper that you can get in the wild. It's really great. And, you know, they've just been throwing these events left and right. And I think it's the best way to go. But... That's pretty much all we've got to go over today because tonight is also going to be Giratina Raid Hour, but I have to miss that because I have to get to my closing. My closing is at 8 o'clock, but it's an hour and a half drive to get to it, so there's no way I could do Giratina Raid Hour and make that. We've also got the Taiwan event coming up of, on October 3rd to the 6th. I will not be covering that event because my best friend's wedding is on the 4th and I'm not going to miss that for anything not Pokemon or otherwise. And the fact of the matter is they're releasing Shiny Oddish and Heracross is going to be the regional there. And they've hosted an event in Taiwan every year. So I'd rather wait until next year when they bring something I don't have and I can enjoy the event with a new regional, enjoy Taiwan and all that. I just don't want to pay for four days of Heracross when I can get four days of Heracross for free here at home. Um, I would love to go out and see Pierre's territory, meet all the other YouTubers out there. I'm just, I'm not that dedicated yet to where I'm going to go out to an event that may or may not benefit me in any sort of way. I would love to be out there with you guys. And, you know, four days unticketed, that's an awesome event. But I just can't justify it to myself. And don't forget, coming up, you don't want to miss out on trying to go get that EX Raid Pass because it's going to be Mewtwo with a shiny possibility and Shadow Ball is returning. They're also going to be doing the Makeup Day for Mewtwo. Don't forget that that's on October 8th that you'll get the Mewtwo Raid Hour, then I'm going to be going ham on that one as much as I can. Um, right now, we're just kind of, you know, playing it by ear, waiting to see what the next event is, or if there's even going to be another event this year, because the last two years in a row, they've capped the end of the year off with the Taiwan events. So, let's go ahead and see if this is going to be the last event, or if they're going to sneak one more in there. If they don't, I'm kind of okay. I just need a break from all of this travel right now between Chicago, the wedding, Japan, Montreal. So much travel. It's been amazing, don't get me wrong, but that's pretty much it for right now. I just wanted to get out and cover those shiny regionals, so they will be hatching from 5Ks, obviously, in your respective regions. They'll be in the wild as well, so those shiny variants will be that way. If you are in Europe, let me know down in the comments how excited you are for that Mime Jr., and let me know if you're going to hatch a million eggs, if you're just going to take it, you know, slow, how you're going to go about trying to get that shiny Mime Jr., and if you get it, please show it to me, and I kind of got to get out of here. My wife is ready to go. She's slowly hopping in the car now, trying to be quiet. Anyways, we've got to get to her sister's birthday dinner. I've got to get to my closing. I got to get this video edited and thrown out, but 
I know everybody's probably sick of spending all of their money on incubators because Niantic keeps adding things into the egg pool, which that's one of the biggest arguments everyone has is, yeah, it's cool, they're adding new stuff, new shinies to the egg pool, but they're not taking anything back out of the egg pool, so the odds of hatching any of these are getting smaller and smaller, and they can say increased rates all they want. The fact of the matter is, I hatched 236 eggs over the last week of the first regional egg event, and I hatched zero shinies out of over 200. But she did about 150 and got two shiny regionals out of it. So it's really not, it's, it's not any sort of number you can figure out. It's just completely random no matter how much Niantic claims it's not. It really is because when I watch someone hatch four shiny regionals in a row and then someone who literally hatches over 200 eggs gets none, there's no fairness in that. It is 100% random. Anyways, we're trying to relax, but it's not really working. We've got a million errands to run. I've got to get to Publix. I've got to get to the dry cleaners. I've got to get to my closing. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these events, what you think about the regionals and the, these events. Did you get shinies? Are you planning on trying to get the new shinies? How your events have been going? Leave me a like, subscribe if you have not already, and I will catch you guys in the next one.